Let's rewind a few years and imagine someone telling us that SpaceX would be launching the Starship soon. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Not because we doubt SpaceX's ability, but because Starship is not just another rocket. It's the largest rocket ever built, not just in our time, but in the entire history of rocketry. Yet here we are witnessing SpaceX not only launch one Starship, but gearing up for their third launch. Recently, SpaceX took a huge step towards this third flight, which we will discuss in this video. But before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about space news. To truly understand the insanely fast pace of SpaceX's Starship program, a comparison with the iconic Saturn V rocket is very important. The development of the Saturn V began in 1961, and its first launch occurred in 1967, marking a six-year gap between development and debut launch. In contrast, SpaceX's Starship made its first flight just a few years after its initial development began, with the first prototype being tested in 2019. The fact that SpaceX is preparing for its third Starship flight only two months after the second highlights the company's unprecedented pace in rocket development. The third Starship launch is very significant as it plays a crucial role in NASA's Artemis program, which is focused on returning humans to the moon surface. This mission relies heavily on the success of the Starship, which is why NASA has substantial investment of around $4 billion in Starship. SpaceX has recently taken a critical step towards the third flight by submitting a report to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration regarding the Starship's second launch in November 2023. This submission is essential for acquiring the license needed for the third launch. You might be wondering, what does the report of the second launch have to do with the third launch? The reason is straightforward yet significant. The FAA uses the data from previous launches to evaluate SpaceX's readiness for subsequent missions. This report is a deep dive into the second launch, providing detailed insights into what went right, what went wrong, and how SpaceX addressed any issues. This analysis is important for the FAA to ensure that SpaceX is not repeating past mistakes. However, there's a problem. SpaceX's plan to launch the third Starship as early as February might face delays due to the lengthy review process of the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA's review can be time-consuming. For the first integrated test flight of the Starship, the FAA took over 500 days to review the application and issue the license. Yes, you heard that right. 500 days just for a single launch license. Musk has been openly critical of the FAA's regulatory framework. He expressed his frustration on Twitter, stating that the FAA's space division has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure, and that their rules, which he described as being designed for a few expendable launches per year from government facilities, are inadequate for the pace and scope of SpaceX's Mars ambitions. Musk argued that under such a regulatory environment, humanity will never get to Mars. The tension between SpaceX and FAA raises questions about the progress being made in other countries, particularly those with less stringent regulations. For example, China's space program has been making significant strides. China's recent progress in space exploration, particularly in the development of reusable rocket technology, the Chinese company Landspace successfully launched and landed a test version of its JUK-3 rocket. This is the only company outside the United States to have successfully landed rockets. On January 19th, the JUK-3 rocket reached a height of approximately 1,150 feet in a flight lasting around 60 seconds, then executed a precise landing very close to its target. Landspace's achievement is noteworthy as the Zhuki-3 is expected to be a large rocket, capable of carrying significant payloads to low Earth orbit in a reusable mode. There have been claims that China's advancements in space technology, particularly with reusable rockets, might involve stealing technology from SpaceX's Falcon rockets. Perhaps the only rocket that might be hard for China to replicate is Starship. Even if they manage to copy its design, by the time such a feat could be achieved, SpaceX is likely to have advanced significantly further. Like I said, they are already preparing for the third test flight of the Starship and plan to conduct many more tests this year. 
Moreover, the third Starship launch aims to demonstrate more than just orbital capability. The mission will include testing the rocket's ability to change its path while in orbit, which is important for long-distance space missions. It will also practice safely returning to Earth from space, a process known as controlled deorbit. Another critical test is in-orbit refueling, where the Starship would get fuel from another spacecraft in space. This ability is key for lengthy missions to the Moon and Mars, as it allows the spacecraft to extend its journey. 2024 is shaping up to be a landmark year for SpaceX, with plans to launch an astounding number 144 rockets. If the company succeeds this ambitious goal, it will not only shatter their previous records, but also set a new standard in the frequency of space missions. As of late January 2024, SpaceX had already launched seven Falcon 9 rockets, with no launches yet from the Falcon Heavy or the Starship. In 2022, SpaceX had a remarkable year, with a total of 61 launches. This included 60 Falcon 9 launches and one Falcon Heavy launch. This was a remarkable increase from the 31 launches in 2021. In 2023, SpaceX successfully completed 98 launches throughout the year. This remarkable feat included 91 Falcon 9 launches, 5 Falcon Heavy launches, and 2 Starship launches. This is a significant increase from the 61 launches in 2022. Prior to SpaceX's rise, the record for the most launches in a year was held by the Soviet Union. In 1977, the Soviets achieved 104 space launches, a record that stood for decades. SpaceX's target for 2024 would not only surpass this record, but almost double their own 2022 achievements. The Falcon 9 has been a cornerstone in SpaceX's ability to increase launch frequency due to its cost-effectiveness and reliability. Looking ahead to 2025, if SpaceX continues on this path of exponential growth, it's reasonable to project even higher launch numbers. While specific targets for 2025 have not been announced, continuing the trend suggests a potential for over 150 launches. A notable aspect of SpaceX's 2024 launch schedule is the potential operational launches of the Starship which is crucial for meeting NASA's Artemis timelines and future lunar missions. The anticipation for the FAA's decision on the third Starship launch is high. A successful launch would be a triumph for SpaceX and a significant advancement for human space exploration. It would demonstrate the viability of reusable spacecraft for deep space missions, reducing the cost of space travel and opening new possibilities for exploration. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.